Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac, and today we're going to talk about Taka Nakagami's comments about the current situation in Honda. Now, Taka was asked about how or what is going on with the situation. He said, the front wheel of a bike keeps collapsing. The rear is very unstable. The bike shakes and shakes. So it's very difficult when you get into a corner because you lack grip in the front and it's very easy to fall. As soon as you step on the gas, there's no rear grip. The rear just starts to spin. I don't know if it's mechanical or an electronic problem, but in any case, it is very difficult to manage. The only thing I know is that the only way out of this is to keep working, but the limitations of the bike are just there. You can close your eyes and do one quick lap, but you cannot do that for the whole race. The moment you go over the limit, you end up in the gravel trap. He was then talking about the 2022 bike and the 2023 bike compared to earlier bikes. And he said, when we started in 2022, we suffer some weekends, although not in every race weekend. As a rider, I believe that situation did not just arise in 2023 also, but it's something that dragged on from 2022. He said the 2021 bike was quite good. It was really competitive in some races, but the 2022 bike, if you remember, we had a complete change of concept. The 2022 bike was very different on all levels. The chassis, the geometry, the feel of the front. It was like the bike lost the Honda DNA. So I had to change my riding style from before. The 2022 bike was so different, I had to relearn how to ride the bike. Between 2018 and 2021, the bike always had the same character, but suddenly everything had changed. The grip on the rear, the feeling on the front, everything had changed. I remember I was very surprised at the last test in Hereth in 2021. After the first lap, I thought to myself, oh, this is a completely different bike. My first impressions of it were not negative. I have to admit that I liked the difference from the bike. But when 2022 started, the biggest problem was that we didn't have all the experience that we had accumulated over the years. Previously, we used the data collected when we were last with the setup over the weekend to help us get back on track. But with the 2022 bike, it was impossible because we didn't have the data. He was then asked, has this situation led the engineer in charge of the MotoGP project to give each rider the freedom to develop their own bike independently of others. And has this led to confusion? And Nakagami replied, yes, the four riders had four different chassis and followed different development strategies. Each crew chief applied their ideas. We couldn't copy anything. We couldn't exchange data and we couldn't even share our ideas because all four had their own. And I think this is the major problem with Honda. If they're going to go and develop a new concept of bike, they do need to start developing it in a, in a proper way. If you look at what happened with Ducati last year compared to years before, where they would have riders on the same bike, a lot of the spec of the bike would be very similar. Having four different chassis, etc., you know, there is no consistency in the data. You can't collect the data. The tires are reacting to a different chassis, etc., etc. The only thing that is similar would be maybe the engine. But again, I just think this is probably where Honda started digging their own hole in the start of 2022, is that instead of doing a collaborative development cycle, they were going on individual development cycles. And I think that's what caused everything to end up in the crisis that they're now in. I think it was pretty brave for Nakagami to be making those statements. I uh, wonder will Honda give him an old uh, slap on the wrists for it. But I think it's really interesting what he says is that he feels that the Honda bike has lost its DNA. And, you know, he would be able to tell us he's ridden the bike and Honda long enough since 2018. So definitely does have a good amount of experience on it. But 
I would definitely love to know your thoughts. What do you think of Nakagami's comments? And what do you think about each writer having their own development strategies with their crew chiefs? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.